In a nutshell, we're just going to use advanced lightning and then squish it down to make it look like a tight laser and then comp it into our shot. Let's jump into this. New composition, we'll make it 2000 pixels wide. Let's say 500 pixels tall, frame rate, whatever you're working at. And duration, 10 seconds long, works great. New solid, command or control Y, black works great. We're going to go and add the advanced lightning effect on here. Change it to two way strike, move the coordinates down so that they are roughly like here, go into the glow, turn the glow opacity down because we're going to add that later manually. Let's go in, option click on the stopwatch of conductivity state, add an expression, time times, uh, let's do 30. This will make it animate as we go along. Cool. Now we're going to duplicate this and then change composite on original and this will put the new one on top of that. So now we're going to go down into the expert settings and bump up the complexity. And kind of just play around with the settings until they feel about how you want. Um, this one we're going to change we're going to change the uh, expression just to kind of offset it a little bit. We're going to add parentheses plus I don't know, 150 or something. This just offsets it from the evolution of the previous one. There we go. Collapse these real quick. I'm going to add a glow. Bump up the radius a bit. Maybe 30 sounds great. Transform. Drop this on here. We're going to uncheck uniform scale and do scale height to, I don't know, let's try 35 for now. Let's do 40. Collapse these down again. Now we're going to add a solid composite back. We're going to make it black. We're going to duplicate our glow, put this down below the solid, and we're going to punch up this radius even more, and bring this like that. Okay, we're going to add some fractal noise, change the blending mode to overlay, bring the opacity Just enough, just to give it a little bit of variation in there. Let's do a little less. Option click on the stopwatch. Time times. Uh, let's do 100. Collapse these. Going to add just some regular noise onto this, just, just for good measure. Change it up. It probably won't show up in YouTube compression, but it helps a little bit. All right, now let's add some curves. I'm going to darken this down just a smidge at the bottom to get rid of our the noise that we put so it stays black in the black areas. Go over to the blue channel, punch it up, go back to the red, bring this down. Go over to the green channel. We'll take that down, but we'll bring that. We're going to do the opposite. Maybe this. Just to give it a little more kick. There we go. We got the basics of our laser. Okay, now. Call this comp laser. We'll make a new comp. This will be our, we'll make this uh, 1920 by 1080. This will be our actual, or whatever your footage that you're compositing this into. Let's make, bring up, hit P to bring up the position. Option click on the stopwatch. Oh. Come on. 
Now we're going to add an expression. This is going to be x equal, equals wiggle, open parenthesis, uh, 30 comma 100, close parenthesis, semicolon, enter, or return, and then y, e wow, cannot type today, equals wiggle, this is going to be 0 comma 0. This is just so that if you wanted to have it go the other direction, it's there for you. It saves you a little bit of work in punching in the expression. Semicolon. So square bracket, x, square bracket, 0, close square bracket, comma, y, square bracket, 1, square bracket, end, end, end. Hit return, if I typed it all right, that should work. And what this is going to do is make it wiggle back and forth left and right, and that gives it that really volatile, shaky, shaky stuff. Go ahead and turn on motion blur for this in the comp if you wish, and RAM preview it out, and we'll see what we got. Turn that off just so we can, for the sake of render time. We can go into the position and keyframe this. The nice way about that expression is we can move this around. It's just going to wiggle whatever value is there already. So that's pretty handy. Now on to compositing this, and we'll go from there. All you have to do is drag your footage in, right click on the layer, scroll down, and click track camera, and then go grab a sandwich because this is going to take a while. Once it's done, all you have to do is click Create Camera, or you can go in and click on any of the tracking points and do Create Null and Camera. I picked that null on the corner of the couch because it gave me a rough point in 3D space of where the laser should be. All you have to do is drag in the laser comp we made, change the transfer mode to Screen, and then copy and paste the position from that null we made to the position of the laser or position it around in your comp wherever it needs to be for the shot. I did a few finishing touches, adding some glows and reflections to the scene to add a little bit more realism, but that isn't necessary for every shot. Mix in some fun sound effects and you have yourself a really cool laser.